Hey guys, if you're just joining me, I'm Mario and Sonic, and, uh, this episode we're tackling the first dungeon in, uh, Oracle of Ages right now. So this dungeon is called Spirit's Grave. Right now, we can go either right or left. So we're gonna go left right now. Doesn't seem like we can do anything other than just kill these enemies. Which are fairly easy, all they do is just walk around and bump into you. So we're gonna go right! So now, we have to defeat the enemies in order to get out. Here we go, now we can get out. But we're gonna push this block to the right or left, and bam, there's a cube. We simply move the cube, to match the appropriate color. Now we can go one of two ways. We can go up or right. We're gonna go up. Just for the sake of, uh, time. We're gonna go over here and... Bam! We found the compass! Now we can, uh, track our position and locate chests and keys. Can't move it anywhere else. So we're at a loss. So it seems like we're gonna have to move this. Go this way. More of those blob like creatures as I just got hit by one. And there goes. So here we have a puzzle. Can't move this. There's a key, and now we can go this way. Now if we move this over here, and use this key, <clears throat> we can go in this room now! Hooray! There's a key, there's a key. Move this block down, go over to the treasure chest, and we got another small key. How nice. I just, I just love finding them. You never, you never expect finding a small key in a dungeon. This over. Just like that. Gonna check what's over here. Yet another puzzle. And there we go. Now we can get to one side. There's the treasure chest. Now, move this over, move this up. Press it. And we have a moving bridge. Can't move this over. Can't move that up. So now, go back down. Have to redo it. So let's be real careful of the situation that we're getting in. We got a small key again. We can use it to open a locked door or block in this dungeon. And we go back around. And I, I realize now that I could have just waited for the platform, but I was afraid it wasn't gonna work. So move this up. Get on the platform. And simply follow the way. Now there's a door with a lock on it, which means we're gonna have to use a key. Just break some of these bushes over here. There we go. Open the door. Get on the floor, everybody walks the dinosaur. Simple as that. We're just gonna explore a little bit, so... There's those hands from the first Legend of Zelda. Now these hands would uh, grab you and bring you back to the beginning of the dungeon, which... Not a lot of people liked. Including myself. So right now we're fighting a... Mini boss! Simply just hit the mini boss. 
These ghosts will slow you down, but eventually come off. Kill the ghosts, and then hit the big ghost! I don't know why I'm doing so poor at this boss battle. Hey, we did it! And, we get a fairy, and get to go back to the beginning of the dungeon, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Instead, we're gonna go this way, and here we find some moblins with... Ah, uh, boomerangs, apparently. That's nice. So we can block these boomerangs with our shield that we have. Not hit them, but just propel it backwards so we don't get hit by it. I'm gonna try and move these blocks to make sure there's not anything we're missing here. So we can't move those blocks, but we have a door with a keyhole. Use the small key, and there we go. We're through the door. Once again, we're faced with this block challenge. Simply move those blocks down this one to the right, or left, and there you go. Now you can get through. Now there's a skeleton, another skeleton. Got through that one very nicely. Over here. Simply right here, staircase. And here is where we get the dungeon item. One of the most helpful items in the game. The power bracelet. Now we can lift up objects like rocks and bushes. So basically, we're a bodybuilder. But you can only lift these things up when you have the item selected. It works as any other it works as if you were going to pull them in any other Legend of Zelda game. You go up to the item that you want to pull back. You hold the pull button, which in this case is the A button because that's where the item is. And you hold back and bam. Now you can lift up items. And now we get a ring. Get it appraised later. Nice little treat for going through the dungeon and understanding. So now we come to a room like this. Where we have to stand on the button, or put something on the button. And here is where we're going to push the pot. Now we come to a room with more pots to push. Lift up. And we have the boss key. We're already almost at the boss, but I don't want to leave just yet. I want to make sure that I've got everything in here and that if you guys are playing along with the game with me, I want to make sure you guys get everything that you can possibly find in this dungeon. So far, we haven't found the dungeon map, which is kind of a bummer. So we're going to try this. We're going to try making, instead of it being blue, we're going to try and make it red. That didn't work out. That's slightly disappointing, but oh well. Now we can go up here and get this treasure chest, which contains the dungeon map. Press select to see it in the darkening rooms you haven't been to yet. Well, we've been to almost all of the rooms except for the boss's room, so we're gonna go over there now. I apologize in advance for not grabbing the dungeon map during the beginning of this dungeon. However, it can easily be acquired just like any other dungeon map. It's it's pretty simple.
So now we simply defeat the enemy yet again. Can't move this. Can't look, lift this up, but Link does look, in fact, constipated right there. Can't do anything about this room, just like before. But, we can, in fact, get some treasure before we leave. Is this it over here? There seems to be some treasure over here. It seems we can't get that now, so we'll just leave it as it is. However, now we can make a shortcut and throw these pots out of our way, and we can get to the boss chamber fairly simply. Fairly simple. I think going to the boss actually is taking me longer than the whole dungeon, surprisingly. And I don't know why I just took one and a half hearts <laughs> of damage to, uh, to me while I was playing this. It's kind of sad, actually. Yes. We do have one more treasure that can possibly be had in this dungeon, so we're gonna go over here, move this block. Now, we can get by. Let's see. If you're smart at this, you'll be able to get it. Obviously, I messed up. <laughs> so, hey, I messed up, but at least I got a heart. There we go. We got a Gasha seed planted in soft soil. Now we can get a ring once the Gasha Seed grows up. Anything over here? Nope. So now we're on our way to the boss. And such as every Legend of Zelda formula, we use our newfound item from the dungeon to defeat the boss. In this case, it's the Power Bracelet. So I assume we're going to throw something at the boss. Or not. It's whatever, I guess. Yes, we are. We're going to pick him up after. Hit you. I did it! We did it, and I had half a heart of life left. Gosh, I am rusty at this game. So right there, we have our first major key item, dungeon item. You got the eternal spirit, an essence of time. Even after life ends, it speaks across time to the heart. And in typical Zelda fashion, we get sent out of the dungeon! What's this? It's me, the Maku Tree. I hear an essence echoing in the western woods. Can you go there? Well, now that we have our power bracelet, we can go to that Poe that was there. And this is a... Uh, and here is a reoccurring enemy, the Witch Woman. She's gonna race you for things. She took my piece of heart, but she didn't get enough. Now you're sorry, I have more stuff than before. See ya.
So what did she take from us? Let's see. We still have our magic potion, our two pieces of heart, the Gasha Spirit, but we did, as I, even though I just said we had, we still have it, we actually gained a potion from it, so that was both a good and bad encounter from that mysterious woman. So now, we can go over here. Someone finally came! This headstone blocks my path to the afterlife. I'm actually below here, right? I'd appreciate it if you could help me out. So now, naturally, we move the headstone just like he was just hinting us. Maybe dig around and get pushed in here, I guess. You must have moved my headstone. That means I can move on to the afterworld. My heart lifts at the thought of it. Thanks! You came out. Since I'm moving on, I don't need this anymore. Take it. I hope you can reach the afterworld soon, too. We've got the Poe Clock! It lightens the heart. So now, we can give someone that needed a clock, a clock! Just maybe, it might work out. We can't go over there yet until I get the ability to swim. So now, we're going back into town. Possibly even to Western Woods. Still can't do anything over here, even though we do have the power bracelet. Down here, we can plant a Gasha seed. After a while, it'll grow a ring on it, and we can get that and appraise it. But over here, we can get that piece of heart that I was telling you about last episode. Collect four in a set. You can check them on the item screen. And you can try moving the headstones over here, just to see if they'll move, which is what we're aiming for. These headstones do not move, as I just concluded. <laughs> we can try these, though. Persistence is key in this matter. These do not move either. So now, we're going to go back to Lyanna Village. Or Lyanna City, actually. What's, um, what's good is that this game is actually coming back to, or this game is going on the virtual console for the 3DS along with Oracle of Seasons, and, uh, they've added some stuff to it, but now it's going to be on the 3DS, so if you have a 3DS capture card and want to probably play this game or maybe even record it, go right ahead. It's coming out in, I believe, summer. So now we can appraise these rings that we got from the dungeon. Do come in. Welcome to Vashu's Jewelers. What can I do? I'll appraise. It's 20 rupees appraise? Yes. Hmm, I see. I call this the Discovery Ring. Sense soft earth nearby. That's what this ring is. I'll add it to your list. We'll appraise this one too? I see. I call this the Zora Ring. Dive without breathing. That's what that ring is. I'll add it to your list. I've appraised all your rings. Rings do nothing unless worn. Now we're gonna check on that Gasha tree that I planted so long ago. It seems it's not here anymore. Checking the parrots out, just in case. However, now we can actually move onward this way. Now that we have the power bracelet, we can pick up this rock and throw it at that Octorok! Symmetry City and... Lyonnais City is over here. <laughs> Seems that the next place is over here. There are three fairies here. 
This is our playground. Won't you play hide and seek? If you can't find the three of us, you can't go on. We'll hide, so you try and find us. There's a rock. The bush. Another bush. Ready or not, come find us. They weren't here, I'm just checking over here. And each part leads you... Somewhere else. Do you quit? No, I do not quit. Right here. Dang, but there are still two more. If you didn't know by now, it loops around until you actually get the right area. So we can keep doing this, and it'll keep sending us to a different area. But what we want is this area right here. You found me! But the last one is the hardest. So it's just, yet again, a maze going to and fro point A to point B. And she... Your it is over here. Here we are! What? You found us all? You're good, mister. Aw, oh, you found us all. Okay, we won't tease you anymore. We'll put the forest back in order. That was fun. Let's play again sometime. So now we can actually move on to where we were before. Ancient cave. Beware. It crumbles easily. We'll pick up this rock and... Oh no! What have we done? seems we've made it crumble in. Link, are you alright? Now you can't get inside. The rock you blasted was a support stone that held up the cave. Too bad Nehru can't give us some advice. Maybe there's something in Nehru's house that can help. Why don't you go look? Well, we'll leave that for next episode. But in the next episode, we're going to Nehru's house. To possibly get an item. So, yeah, join me next time. I'm Mario and Sonic, and have a good day.